So here is my setup for testing bladeless DC motors as you can see here. This one is a Racer Star 1000 KV. Um, so the way I have it set up that I don't need a flight controller is that I have my power supply which if you follow the wires goes into the the ESC input. This is a uh, 15 amp ESC and the control three wires, these three, go to a servo tester which is a small thing. It says server tester on the side but that's I think that's a translating error. I'll put a link to that in the, the description on off Amazon. Um, then so that provides the control signal which then goes and creates this three phase AC which is outputted here and that goes directly into the motor. So I put my um, power supply to 11.1 .1 volts because that's the standard uh, lithium polymer battery voltage. So I turn it on and it lights up and it makes that sound. And once you hear the fourth beep, you're ready to turn it on. Make sure your um, serve your tester is in manual mode and it's at the very bottom, otherwise your motor will start. And so you can see when I turn up the the potentiometer, it starts spinning. And there is a mode on here. If there's a button that says select, don't worry about that. You don't need it. Don't click it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Also, an important thing to note is that on here, it's a... Okay, let me turn it off so it's easier to see. On here, there is a grid of 3x3 three three, uh, pins. The first time I did it, I was choosing, like, top to bottom. And that is wrong, and it could potentially hurt your motor. What you have to make sure you're doing is you have the exposed part of the ESC connector up and you put it on the top thing because that is actually channel 1 and the, the next row is channel 2 and the next row is channel 3 so that's an important thing to note there's no input to this I don't know why that's just kind of how it works and yes it's important that you only put in 11.1 .1 volts so if you don't have like a precision power supply like I do then try to get yourself a lipo battery because that will you know help you a lot um, and yeah I think that's about it thanks for watching see you in the next video bye